Hi everyone, welcome back to Style Novice in another sewing tutorial. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make your own fabric reusable panty liners and your very own pattern to do so. If you'd like a pattern ready made that you can simply print and sew with, head along to my Etsy listing linked below, which also includes the full written and step-by-step -step photo instructions. To create your own pattern, you will need an existing disposable liner of your liking, something you find comfortable and easy to use, two pieces of paper, a pencil or pen, a measuring tape or a ruler with inch measurements, a dark marker and scissors suitable for cutting paper. Onto the sewing, you'll need fabric scissors, sewing pins, pinking shears which are optional, an iron and ironing surface, cotton and bobbin thread, a sewing machine, a ruler and a fabric marker. So that's a marker that will wash off in your item's first wash. We're going to be using pre-washed flannelette so make sure you do pre-wash it before we get started. The more these go through the wash the softer and more comfortable they become to wear. So take an existing disposable panty liner that you feel comfortable wearing and stick this to one of your pieces of paper and trace around it using a pencil. Often the front end is slightly wider in shape so don't forget to mark which end this is on your pattern. Around the entire outer edge of the line you've just drawn make small marks a quarter inch out from your traced line. And now connect the dots. Do the same, making small marks a quarter of an inch inside of your original traced line and again connect the dots. Next take a dark marker and draw over your inner and outer line leaving your original traced line as is. These darker shapes will become your pattern pieces. Take your second piece of paper and trace over both shapes, each on a separate side of the page. This way you have both pattern pieces available if you want to make more liners at a later date. Cut your pattern pieces using scissors suitable for paper and in case your tracing or cutting wasn't as accurate as it could be, fold each pattern piece in half and trim away any excess so you have an evenly shaped pattern piece. Next is on to cutting your fabric. Now that you know what size your pattern pieces are, you can cut small blocks of fabric big enough to pin these onto and cut around. Taking three of your smaller fabric blocks at a time, pin your smallest pattern piece, the interior piece, onto the centre of these and trim around the outside edge using your pinking shears. And repeat for your larger exterior pieces. Per liner you will need one front piece, so a large piece, one back piece, another large piece and two small interior pieces. So regardless of the colours you have chosen to work with you should now have seven large front pieces, seven large back pieces and 14 interior pieces. Flannelette is slightly fluffier on one side so take note of what side this is. If you're using a patterned flannelette like one of mine is, this takes the thought away for you. Take one large front piece and one large back piece. Place one atop the other, good sides facing together, so your fluffy sides facing in. Sew around the outside edge of this duo using a quarter inch seam allowance. And remember, leave a small gap along one of the straighter areas of the liner to turn the right way out. Once sewn using the small gap that you left open, turn this piece the right way out. Fold in the quarter inch seam in that gap and iron flat. Take two interior pieces and lay one atop the other. Any sides facing together is fine. These pieces will stick together by static so no pinning or sewing is needed. Holding these two pieces together, carefully tuck them inside the opening in your exterior pieces. Be sure to wiggle them around as needed so they're sitting completely flat within the middle space. Then fold one of your seams over the top of them to hold them in place and keep everything tidy. Sew around the outside edge as close to the edge as possible, being sure to start at the opening and close the shut as you sew. 
Once complete, take something flat like a ruler and gently rest this along the central line of your liner to make an indent. Along this indent, mark a 5cm line in length through the centre using your fabric pen and we're then going to sew along this line. Alternatively, you could sew another liner shaped design around the centre, but I felt it was better to use as little stitching as possible to avoid any possible irritation. As the interior pieces cling by static to one another and the exterior pieces, they don't move during the wash and I found this central line to be enough on its own. The next step is to of course repeat six more times to create your set of seven. These are just what they say, they are liners so they are designed to be used with whatever you would normally use a disposable panty liner for. If you're wondering how to go about washing your liners, if you've been using them just as a regular panty liner on an everyday basis, throwing them in the wash with your next regular laundry load should be fine. For mild staining such as backup for menstrual cups, a cold rinse at the time of removing and then a regular cold wash will be fine. And for stubborn stains, a cold soak as you'd soak any other stained article of clothing followed by a cold wash. As I mentioned before, the more you wash your liners, the softer and more comfortable they will become and they should last you many months or years, but they'll certainly save you some money. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found this one helpful and I'll see you next video.